Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, let's disconnect the music. This is our music we put on for Miss Piggy each day. Music. Music. So we keep. There goes my heart. So keep music on for her. Hey, young big girl. People said how fat you are because we give you food, big girl. Mmm, his daddy. Hey, I'll come back and host it down after. It was a bit cold this morning. All right, land. There she is, the big girl. Oh, she's monstrous. But all she gets is feed. Is this stuff here? Look. The stuff here <clears throat> premium grower hog pellets that's what she gets and she gets one of these full which is measured out by weight she gets one of those full excuse me on um, breakfast lunch and dinner time we don't feed her bananas and um, wild spinach shit at all remember guys when you have animals, you've got to love them, you've got to look after them. Now, if you, if you haven't got the money to look after them, don't fucking have them, because all you're doing is starving the bastards. Right? Right? Listen in. Right. So I had a, had a request from Ross. Ross Fain? I think it is. I hope I pronounced it right. I hope, it, I, hope I said that right. Ross. So Ross Fain, T-H. Sounds like Wayne, but with a T-H. So, he asked, how can you tell if the chicken eggs are good or not good? Well, I'm going to bloody show you. So, big boy over here, he's servicing up all these girls. This, this is his little harem. Where did he come from, this one? Hey from the neighbour. And what type is he? Sasso. Sasso. Sasso breed. Sasso breed. So he's got his own little harem, he has. So the ones who hang around, chickens, chickens, when you, when you get a brain and you see how your chickens go, they all have an area that they hang around in. You know, there's like they're like the the uh, the gangs in the prisons. You know, you got the the African Americans over there, the Spanish Americans over there, the Australian Americans over there, and the bloody gay Americans over there. You know all that shit. And that's what the chickens are like. They hang around in their own gangs. And the ones that will feed with um, with Vietnam over there, okay, that's his little harem. And Big Red, he's got his little harem. And these girls here. Okay, well this guy here, he's one of our new ones we got off of the neighbour. Well, he's got his little harem now building up. So, they all have their own little gangs. But the ones who live here, this is where in the feed room, hello gorgeous, it's okay. And here, these are the ones that produce the eggs for the house. Okay, these are the house eggs, like here. It's okay, relax. Oh, let's see, let's just drop this one out. Oh, how hot is that? Look at that. How hot is that? That's hot. That's hot. So she's just dropped that out. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. So these are the house ones that we eat each day. Okay. Now, until they're good, well, until they're good because you put them on the light, right? You buy these online from Amazon. See? That's what they look like. So that's the egg yolk in there. Okay. And there you go. So you can put a light on them. If it's dark or has any dark spots or anything like that, then that means that it's um, starting to turn into a chicken. Starting to turn into a chicken. Right. What are you doing? You've got Tucker outside. No, you're not having this. It's mine. It's mine. Come here. Come here, Pat. You gotta love animals, guys. You gotta look after them. You trust them, they trust you. That's what it's all about. And yeah, you can have this too, guys. Cam, shoot cam off. Remember, don't let your dream die. Look at this, I'll take these in for Bricky. You still going up there, girlfriend? So we'll get, um, we'll get about four. Four out of this lot here. And all the others will lay in the um, chicken house or in the turkey house. And because of all the rains, they've actually been laying in the turkey house of late. And that's sort of like... Um, they're using the turkeys as incubators. You know what I mean? Like incubators. The turkeys. Right, let's go and have a look. Turn this camera up. Let's go and have a look in the chickens. Mm. I'll teach you for jumping over the fence. Right, so. Let's have a look. See, I've got the light in here now. Okay, so we can have a test seat. Right, so. We start over here. Now, at the moment, I'm letting these go at the moment. 
This is what I'm doing. Here we go, here's one. So this one probably yesterday. I'll go down to shirt cam, guys. So this one would have been yesterday where when we went to devour. So there you go, look at that, yes. See, that's beautiful. Nice and clean egg look. So that one would have been yesterday's. So that's no problem, we can eat that bastard. Yummy. Right. No way, you can use you can use your torch as well. Okay, if you turn your torch on, just just cup cup the egg and block off the, the light underneath, just like so, just cup it off, put your torch underneath, look, and you can see it. But these ones here, they come with a rubber end on them, and you can just sit in like so, not hurting your eyes. Right, they're done. Now, I come in here earlier this morning, now, oh, here. Now this one here, there's often, there's often a new girl who's just started laying. Okay, so she's laid the eggs, but she, they're not fertile. She hasn't been screwing around. She's not a little bitch yet, but she's laying the eggs. See how small they are? Tiny little things, tiny. Now if you have a look inside here, right, see there's a liquid, look at that. See that? See that liquid? So that means they're not fertile at all. She hasn't been humped. She's been a good little bitch. And her eggs are unfertile, which means they explode. So it's gone from an egg into liquid. Now that is just pure yucky liquid. And in a couple of days, that will explode away. Okay. So what's it look like? See it? Now see the dark one? That means there's a chicken inside there. Okay. That means there's a chicken. Oh, water boys are here. Ow, ow, don't bite me. What? Oh, look at that liquid, see? See, no good. So get rid of that one. Silver, hi Silver. Well, that, that's a very new egg, so I'd say one of the girls has gone in and dropped that on her. In there. That is a very new egg, that one. Look at this one, see this one, this one's got a chicken in there. Oh, shut up. Noisy bitch. Yeah. Oh, that one's no good. See the water come out of that one, look, look at that, look. So what I generally do is every couple of days I'll come in here. Every couple of days I'll come in here because other other chickens will come and drop in their nest and drop an egg in there on them. And that's when you get, see like this, this is that little one that's all her eggs are no good. So I don't know which one she is yet. So it's okay, see the blood? See the blood on that one? That means the chicken's forming. See, see all the red veins? That means the chicken's forming. This one's, this one's a newish one. This one. I just want to see if she's got any more of those little eggs. Okay. Mm, don't like the look of that one. Because once they explode, I'll show you in a minute. We don't know, that one's all liquid. Right. Okay. Let's go over here and I'll show you what happens on the ones that explode. Okay, and once they explode, it's ugly. Right, so you've seen what those ones look like with non-fertile. It's just like a liquid water inside. Now, they will just build up a gas and gas and gas over days, then they'll explode. What happens when they explode is in here. Okay, girlfriend, give me a look. Come on, hop off with daddy. Now, have a look. See if I can get camera and her at the same time. If you have a look at her underneath her, See how she's, ex see all that, see her feathers look? That's because they've exploded. Right, that's because they have exploded. And this is what they look like. That's what they look like when they explode, okay? So she's had an unfertile one there. Now all these eggs are buggered, all of them. Every one of them are now buggered. I have to take all that out, clean it all out now. Even though, the yeah, you would have shown they all had babies inside of them. So that was one. Oh, 
probably a little tiny one like this that exploded. You know? Shame. Now, the reason, the reason I'll, show, I'll show you outside in the sunlight. So she's had, she's had half a dozen eggs in there, okay? Looks like one of these new little girls have gone in there and laid an egg. So they have exploded. It means they've gone rotten. They haven't been fertile. It was a liquid which you've seen. And after days, the gas build up and it explodes. Once it explodes like this, the other eggs around the nest are covered in this. Okay, now it's dead. You can't wash it off or anything like that. Now eggs, ugh. eggs breathe, the chicken breathes through the egg shell, okay? So the egg shell's got minute thousands of millions of little fucking air pocket hole thingy be dicky dacky dicky 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 dacky things, all right? So the, the actual chicken breathes through the shell. Now when one of those other eggs explode, of course it coats it and all the air's blocked off and the chickens die inside of um, no oxygen. So you think, oh well, I can take that out and I'll scrub it. You know, I'll get the scrubbing brush out and I'll scrub it all off and wash it off. No, you take the outer layer off, yes, but all those little minute pinholes where the oxygen gets in are all blocked up. So when you see that stage, just throw the whole lot out, guys. Seriously, don't waste your time. Just throw them all out. So there you go. So Ross, I hope that's uh, explained the eggs. As I said, they all hang around in gangs. They do, turkey eggs are the same. When we didn't have a male here, they were just laying eggs everywhere and um, none of them were fertile. What are you girls doing next door? What are you doing next door? Hey, <laughs> eh? Bastards. So remember, they, chickens hang around in gangs, okay? He's got his bitches up over the back here. So the ones, the chickens are on the, the chickens at the house, they're the ones that we eat, it's the eggs from them. Once, every now and again, I'll clear off every egg that's in here so I know they're all new eggs, and I'll collect them daily, and I can get up to a dozen a day, no problem at all. But um, at the moment, we want to build up our chick supply stock. So, I hope that has made it clear for you, okay? These little buggers, look at them, hey? Now if I didn't pull them out, like I said, the mother would jump out the nest. They'd be on the ground with one or two of them, and all the eggs just go bad. Bastards. Bastards. All right, guys. I hope you've learned something this morning about chicken eggs on hatching eggs, on what it's about. And if they're not fertile, she'll just explode. You can see the mother, she's just covered in, she's just covered in shit, you know. That's why they get out and they'll have dirt baths. And the dirt baths will stick to that, then they shake himself and the dirt comes off. That's the whole idea of having dirt baths. You've got to have dirt baths for them, guys, to make sure they're clean. All right, I've got to say love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching today. That's us with the eggs. So, Ross, I hope that answered all your questions. Okay, so later.